Hey everyone, we're now coming up to the last quarter of the year, so I thought it would be a good opportunity for us to talk about how you can best position yourself to get into cybersecurity for the remainder of this year, or maybe even next year. A lot of comments I always get are asking about how we can get into cybersecurity, or even the best way to get into this career. So in this video, we'll talk about why you should get into cybersecurity, you know, just to see if your reasons line up. Then once we have that out of the way, we can talk about the meat of the video, which is how I personally think you should get into cybersecurity. Then we'll wrap it up with some actual realistic expectations when you first start so you don't get any surprises. All right, so the most common reason for a lot of people to get into cybersecurity is the salary. You've probably heard from the people or the media telling you that if you get into cybersecurity, you're going to earn six figures easy. Well, that is somewhat true on the salary part, but not so much on it being so easy. If we take a look at Seek.com, we can see the range is between 100k to 120k salary on average. So if you're just starting out and you see this number, I don't know about you guys, but I would definitely get excited. If you've been following the news around the tech industry, then you would know that there has been a lot of layoffs, especially from big companies. And a lot of times, you would see software engineers in the mix. But you don't often see cybersecurity professionals get laid off, right? That's because with the increasing threat in the cyberspace, a lot of companies can't afford to loosen up their cybersecurity. That means if you work in this field, the chances of you going jobless is really low. Unless you're a low performer and you're just cruising along and not contributing much to your company, then yeah, you deserve to get fired. Since cybersecurity is a tech job, that means you get quite a lot of flexibility. By flexibility, you get more options to work from home, work in the office, or even hybrid arrangement. A lot of companies I see have already incorporated work from home into their environment. Take myself for example, all I need is my laptop and I can generally work anywhere I want. Our company uses a hot desk system so we can just rock up to the office and plug in. There are plenty of ups and downs for working from home and that's another topic I'll get into next time. But with the flexibility that you get when you work not just in cybersecurity but tech in general, it's really hard not to pass this up. The next reason is really subjective, but I think working in cybersecurity really spices up the social aspect of your life. If you think about it, when you're at a social event, how often do you get to meet someone that actually works behind the scenes like in cybersecurity? So I was at a social dinner one day and people were really curious as to what I could see and what I could do with my admin privileges. So if you're not that good with conversations, then maybe working in cybersecurity might actually help you out on this. Now that we have gone through some of the reasons why you would want to get into cybersecurity, Let's talk about how to get into it. This is just one of the better ways which I personally think you should do if you're considering this career. The most common way, probably the most traditional way of getting into cybersecurity is through a degree. That means you'll be committed to at least three years of your life going through a bunch of courses. Some are fundamental, some are just electives. I've done a whole video on whether or not a degree is worth it, especially now in this day and age versus certificates. So if you're interested in this, then feel free to check out this video. Now, my personal opinion is not to do a degree, mostly because universities or colleges for my US viewers are there to make money off you. There's absolutely no reason for them to make it mandatory for you to spend thousands of dollars on elective courses, which are actually irrelevant to your degree. Not only is this wasting your money, but it's actually wasting a lot of your time. This is why I always say, when you're starting out fresh and you're focused on getting the fundamental knowledge on cybersecurity as fast as possible, just do online certification. I would recommend checking out Simply Learn as they're focused on producing the best online courses. This platform offers a wide array of bootcamps and courses which is designed for the real world. They offer really good cybersecurity courses for a range of levels, like this postgraduate program for the more advanced people. But if you're getting into cybersecurity, I would personally recommend CompTIA Security Plus as I had good experience with this. Looking at the course content, we can see it starts off with general security concepts such as gap analysis, type of security controls and cryptography. Then it moves on to threats, vulnerabilities and mitigation which includes threat actors, integrators of compromise, malware attack, and network attack. These are the stuff that we encounter and work on on a daily basis as a stock analyst. The next module involves security architecture like firewalls, VPNs, business continuity planning, which is important and practical, especially after the CrowdStrike outage. Module 4 involves security operations like app security, sandboxing, monitoring, email security, all the good stuff that I actually do on a daily basis as a stock analyst as well. And lastly, we've got security program management and oversight, which involves standards, guidelines, procedures, and governance, which are all very important and occur in our company on a frequent basis as well. So the entire course content is pretty relevant to real life, and it covers pretty much all the basics you need to know about cybersecurity and working as a stock analyst. Now, if we take a look at what's being offered here, we can see that this course provides 100% money back guarantee, so it's basically risk-free for you guys. This also includes the exam voucher, integrated labs for hands-on experience, and simulation tests 
both very important and you can add to your resume. A couple of positive reviews here and Simply Learn also had a shout out on Forbes this year as well. The pricing for this course is about 2000 Australian dollars with a discount right now, which is really good considering what you're getting out of this. For comparison, a cybersecurity degree is three years and will set you back like 25,000 Australian dollars. So if you're serious about starting your career in cybersecurity on the best possible way, check out the link in the description down below. Now let's assume you've enrolled in the course and you've completed your certification. If you're thinking that you'll be earning easy six-figure salary right out the gate, then we need to set the correct expectations. Unless you're working at a big tech company, you'll most likely start off slightly lower. The most important thing you need to understand is you need to gain experience first. That is always the number one priority. Don't be fooled by these internet gurus telling you to take a simple cybersecurity course for a month and you can easily make six figures. That's just a lie. You probably need at least two to three years under your belt before you can earn proper good money. So don't go rushing for money, it'll come eventually. The next expectation we need to set is your starting position. Don't fall for the common misconception that you'll be wearing a hoodie in a dark room doing some hacker man stuff. Throw that idea out the window. You'll most likely be starting in blue team, specifically a SOC analyst if you're lucky. Most often, people start in help desk to build up the fundamental knowledge in IT before leveling up to cybersecurity. And of course, there are exceptions to this. For example, I came from a software engineer background and then moved to cybersecurity. But generally, as long as you've been working in tech and you know your way around computers, then SOC analyst is your first position. As you build your knowledge and skills and experience, you start to move up the ladder such as security engineer, security architect, or even move to the red team as a penetration tester. The third important expectation to set when you're just starting out in cybersecurity is your mindset. Specifically, the grind mindset. Once you've landed a position in cybersecurity, the learning doesn't stop there. You need to continuously upskill yourself in different areas of cybersecurity, not only to gain more knowledge and experience, but also to arm yourself to be that valuable member in your team. You also need to stay up to date with the latest trends in cybersecurity, such as common vulnerabilities. If your mindset goes to the easy cruising life, then your progress stops. It's fine if that's your end goal, to remain as a stock analyst. But generally, if you want to climb the ladder to hit that golden salary you've been hearing, you need to keep learning. Lastly, if you're thinking that you're too late to start in cybersecurity, then I've got news for you. It's never too late unless you're a 70 year old person who's retired. Cybersecurity is an evolving space. So there's plenty of opportunities for anyone to pick up the basic knowledge and skills to join the industry. So wrapping up the video, I would like to say thanks to Simply Learn for sponsoring this video. And if you're serious about pursuing a career in cybersecurity, I highly recommend checking out the link in the description down below to kickstart your journey. As always, if you like this video and found it useful, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for watching.